What is going on guys? Today we're checking out a pair of active noise canceling true wireless earbuds that come in under 40 bucks. And uh, sneak peek, they don't suck. We're talking about the T19 true wireless earbuds by Let's Come. But before we jump into the details on these guys, if you don't know who I am, my name is J-Dub and I'm here to help you guys make a better tech buying decision. Now, if that sounds cool to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my latest reviews. Now, with that said, let's check them out. Now, as we usually do, let's kick it off by taking a look at the design of the case and the earbuds themselves. Now, right out of the bat, if you take a look at these guys, you're gonna see case-wise, very small, very compact, fits in the palm of my hand, fully rounded outside edges, which is really nice. It gives them a really clean feel. They're gonna slide in and out of pockets really nice. So as usual, this is going to be a pocket-friendly pair of True Wireless earbuds, which is great. Um, on the back, we got one USB-C port here for charging. We got three LED indicator lights on the front that are gonna indicate our charge level and charging status. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Very straightforward case. Um, overall, really like the design on that. Now, earbuds wise, let's take a look at one of these guys up close. We've got a stem and bulb style earbud. Okay, so we got a really kind of a medium sized stem, I would say here. We've got a fairly good sized bulb up here on the top. We've got silicone gel ear tips on the tips, which is great. Um, I, we had a really good time. The, the, the seal on these guys has been awesome. Um, once you find the right size, definitely critical as usual to find the right size, especially when you're doing active noise canceling earbuds because it's just critical to sound quality um, and it helps out with that active noise cancellation on the inside of your ear. So it's very important. Make sure you check all the earbuds to get the best seal. But moving on from there, we do have a little uh, LED indicator on the earbud itself. And then you do have a touch pad here that does have kind of a uh, smooth textured record style to it there, which gives it a little bit more of a premium look. The nice thing is my experience with these the entire time during my testing, super comfortable. They've done a really good job with the design here. Um, I didn't get any ear fatigue. I just felt, they just felt nice. They were just very, very easy to use, easy to kind of fit in there and wear. Um, I didn't have any problems with them falling out. So at the end of the day, design on the case and the earbuds is pretty darn good. So I've been pretty happy with that. So now let's talk battery life because battery life is where these guys do a pretty good job. Now, again, I mentioned we do have USB-C. There's no wireless charging or anything like that. Um, you do not have any rapid charge. So there's no fast charging or quick charging on these guys. It's just a standard charge. Um, but at the end of the day, what you gotta look at is the total package here, okay? On a single charge, these guys are advertised to get about nine hours of battery life. Now, even with active noise cancellation turned on, I was able to get eight hours of battery life on these guys. So that's 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 pretty good for an active noise canceling pair of earbuds. I mean, let's be honest, when you're looking at ANC, that's a battery drain. Um, these guys do a pretty good job with ANC and we'll talk about that here in just a minute, but it's not the, the strongest you're gonna find on the market, of course, obviously. I mean, these guys are under 40 bucks, keep that in mind. Um, so they're not just sucking the battery down like crazy. So eight hours solidly, even with active noise cancellation on, was a great overall performance. And with that in mind, with the case, you've got 27 hours of total battery life on the entire system. So that gets you through an entire full day, 24 hours of listening straight, and then some. So these guys definitely have you covered on battery life. All right, so now breaking down the features that you get with these guys, you got Bluetooth 5.0, A2DP, right? So you got solid connection on the Bluetooth side, solid audio transfer on the A2DP side. So we're solid there as far as that goes. Pair that with 10 millimeter drivers in the sound. We'll talk about that here in just a second. Keep moving on though. You got IPX8 water resistance rating, and that's pretty darn good, especially on a $40 pair of earbuds. So they definitely are kind of moving towards that, you know, that active gym person, that outdoor person, maybe contending with some rain, things like that. You're pretty much good to go. Obviously, I wouldn't submerge them entirely. I wouldn't say they're completely waterproof, but it's pretty darn good. On top of that, we got touch controls, and we have all of the touch controls even including, yes, you guessed it, volume control. So well done, Let's Come, for doing volume control on your $40 earbuds because there are brands out there that are way more expensive that can't seem to manage that one. So good job on that. 
But now let's talk about active noise cancellation because active noise cancellation on these, obviously they're 40 bucks. Obviously I've talked about them being ANC. So how well does it work? Well, it's not the best, right? This is not top shelf. This is not top tier active noise cancellation, but at $40, it does a pretty solid job. Now I've done some pretty extensive testing. Now I tested these on bike rides with a lot of wind noise. I've tested them with background noise from the family and things like that. And it does, it does pretty well. It definitely doesn't remove all of the background noise, right? Wind kind of whipping through and stuff was still, still a little bit audible. It didn't get rid of it completely. Um, you know, background noise, even distance background noise, I could still register it a little bit, but it did significantly reduce that background noise. Now, at 40 bucks, at 39.99, I think at the time of making this video on Amazon, um, that I, I, any reduction is is a good amount of reduction, right? I mean, you know, we're taking the normal noise isolation and we're giving it an extra technological boost, and it does a pretty good job. So for 40 bucks, I would say this is passable active noise cancellation, recommendable active noise cancellation. If you want a budget pair of ANC earbuds. I would say this is gonna this is gonna accomplish that goal for you. Now, one thing I will mention is you only get normal mode or ANC. There is no transparency mode on these. You're not gonna get that audio pass through mode. So don't be looking for that. Don't be expecting that. I, again, I wouldn't expect that at 40 bucks. So uh, you shouldn't uh, either. I don't think. So then last but not least, obviously, how do they sound, right? That's the next big question. And again, going back, we got Bluetooth 5.0, A2DP and 10 millimeter drivers. Now you have to just know these are going to be on the bassier side, right? Most budget earbuds kind of try to go for that punchier, that deeper bass kind of just to kind of cater to that. You know, it's, a, it's kind of an easy way to get good sound quality is to kind of head towards the bass and worry about the mids and highs later. And that's kind of what they've done here. But for a $40 pair of earbuds, even removing the active noise cancellation from them, I would say these would be worth $40 um, even without active noise cancellation. The fact that you get active noise cancellation, in my opinion, is just a massive bonus. The sound quality is definitely passable, okay? Again, warmer, it's gonna be on the bassier side. If you're a bass head, you're gonna probably be pretty happy with these in most genres. Um, mids start to get a little bit muddy and you get some pretty good highs uh, depending on the genre that you're listening to. So all around, I would say this is a pretty solid sound signature package, okay? Pairing that with the comfort, pairing that with the, the massive, the impressive battery life, and then sprinkling in a little bit of active noise cancellation on top, $40 in my opinion is kind of a no brainer. So if you're in that budget market, you're looking for ANC, the Let's Com T19s are a pretty solid buy. Now, with all that said, guys, I put the link, obviously, like I always do down in the description below. You can check it out, learn more down there, order some if you'd like. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up down in that comment section. I try to reply to as many comments as I possibly can. But as usual, guys, that is it for me, and I will see you in the next review.